Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Uh, it's 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to everyone. 4th of July is a very special holiday and needs to be observed. Anyway, here we are. Um, the usual, you know, don't forget to, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And when you do, be sure and click on the... Uh, um, the, 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 the notification bell. Why I forget that, I'll never know. But I want you to be notified that there's a new video up, and that's cool because then you watch it, hopefully. Anyway, so here we are on the 4th of July. I went to uh, Big Bear Lake, I guess it was a weekend ago or something, somewhere back there. My buddy Fred and I went up there. We had a good time. And bike was just running a little creepy. And I started realizing that, gee, maybe my points needed adjusting. So when I started looking at them, I realized that they hadn't been adjusted in quite a while. I, you know, because when we started doing these videos, that's one of the things I showed, and I adjusted the points. They hadn't been adjusted in over two years. So I got a new set of points for her. And here they are, a new set of points. And they're not a bad looking set. Some of them are, some of them aren't. And I couldn't tell you for the life of me what brand these are. I found them in my parts room. It seems to me my buddy Ray gave them to me. Ray is no longer with us. So we'll never know where they came from. Anyway, so going back to the motorcycle. So what I did was I thought, how do I demonstrate this better than I've done it in the past? Everything I do, I would prefer to do better every time I do it. So I thought, well, got out the service manual. Now this is, believe it or not, my favorite service manual of the service manuals. This is a 1959 to 69, and Baby Doll here is a 52. But it's the same distributor, the same set of points, the same settings, and I just really like the pictures and the way this book is laid out. So it's one of my favorites that I use. Now, I can look here on the uh, general instructions for the motor, the, the specifications. Ignition timing, breaker point setting, 20 thousandths. So I've got my 20 thousandths feeler gauge out. But if I want to know how to do the timing, I have to go to the electrical section. Again, I did this ahead of time so that it would be easy. Here is the timing mark on the flywheel for an FL, FL or an FLH of the day. That would be a 74-inch overhead valve Harley Davidson from 1948 right on up till they quit using this distributor. In the early 60s somewhere, Harley tried to run dual points. I say tried because I've run several of them for people that their bikes came with them. And when I finally convinced them that it would be really nice to put a single point distributor back in it, they really benefited. But here we are with a single point distributor. And here is the mark. I think you just showed that mark. And so it's the same thing we've shown in the past. You rotate the engine until both of the valves are closed in the front cylinder. You can feel that by turning the push rods. When you've got both of them turning, then you know you're on your compression stroke. So let's go over there. And remember on that mark, that that mark was not centered in the window. It was to the rear of it. And there it is to the rear of it. So by taking the spark plugs out, and turning the engine over by hand with the rear wheel, I just put it in fourth gear with both spark plugs out. I'm able to get it exactly where I want it. So that's where the full advanced timing mark is. I make that distinction because it's not TDC. It's not top dead center. It's where the ignition is supposed to fire when the bike's running down the road. And I will bump my head at least twice more on this before the video is over. It's my job. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take that set of points out of there. 
which is not too difficult. I've already loosened things up to speed up things for the video. The nut on the back of this one is a 5 sixteenths. And we can just loosen that up. We don't really have to uh, take it out. And then we can take this screw out here that holds the points onto the plate. So there is the screw with its washer. I haven't dropped either one yet. Okay, after the last video, I think everyone's waiting for me to drop things, but okay, now we'll just take the set of points right out of here. And now we can see they are burnt. Very burnt. We could try cleaning them up with a point file, but what we'll do is throw them back on the shelf for an emergency when we can't find a set of points and we need them. Now here is the distributor with the points out of the way. And let's see, I think I'm going to grab a rag here, just a second. And what I want to do is just wipe that, make sure it's all nice and clean. Okay? It's also an easy time to grease the... Uh, the uh, points cam down there. So I've got a little tube of dielectric grease, which I think I borrowed without asking from uh, cameraman Mike here. And we'll just kind of rub that around there on that points cam a little bit. It'll spread itself. And then the post here for the points. And let's see about installing this stuff. Well, that goes right into place. I'm just hoping there's enough light here that that'll show up well, Mike. Okay, now we're going to take that right there. Now that we'll get that screw in there and see how we can do this here. Now if it doesn't fall out. It's trying to. Now I want to be sure that the uh, immovable arm is down all the way, and it is. Everything seems to be just a little cattywampus, and I'm thinking Now we can move that a little closer. So let's take that screw loose a little bit. And there we can get that right in there. All right. Now we can get the wire hooked up. Again, not too difficult.
that slid right into place and seems to me the nut on the back side of this thing is a 5 16 maybe I'll just get a longer screwdriver for that there we go that makes for a perfect and there it is make sure that's good and tight all right we're almost done that was a little too quick and easy I don't know about that what I want to do now is let's see I have a little test light here and we can hook that test light up to this bolt right here and I'm going to turn on the ignition switch and If we retard the timing, the light won't come on, but when we advance the timing, it should come on. Okay, which means that's when the points are just starting to open. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that little screwdriver I have, there it is, and we're going to move those points so that they open just a little bit sooner here. There it is. There's the adjusting screw. And let's have a good look at it. Now you can see where the fiber block lines up. A little bit of dog hair there. On the mark on the points cam. Now we're going to take this light again. See how many times we can knock it off. And uh, there it is on. And there it is going off. No, it's not. See, we've got, we've got the points uh, staying open too long. only just a little too much we'll get that as close as we can and then we'll set the gap at 20 thousandths I know what to do here let's see Okay, now let's see. And there it is. Just as it's its full advance, that's when you want it to come on. Okay, now that we've got it so close, I you know I just want it a little closer. I'm going to do this two or three more times till I'm satisfied with it, and I don't think everyone needs to watch me do it two or three times. But what that does is that shows when those points start to open, which is at full advance. We get that thing on full advance. We get it on full advance and we lock down this screw. But this screw right here, this screw right here is the one you can't see because of my hand. That's what moves the points in and out. That's what opens them and closes them. And that would be right there. And let's see if we do this. Again, I'm going to do it with the control for rotating the distributor. Remember that on these bikes, by the time 
Most people get them, they've been chopperized and everything's been thrown away, which includes a full control that goes up to that left handlebar. And most of these have to be worked by hand down on the motor. But I think that pretty well explains it. Again, that shows full advance. And then we'll check it again. And we'll check it so that when, when that little fiber block, let me show it again, when that little fiber block right there, Every, I want to do it on the, the widest part of this cam, which will be over here. I'll bring it over here, and that's when I will get it set at exactly 20 thousandths. And here is my 20 thousandths feeler gauge for just that purpose. So there you have it, and we'll get it done, and I'll be out on the road. I'll see you out on the road.